Hi, I'm in my second office, my other bathroom, which is um, where I shower and do all my stuff. But anyways, I kind of wanted to set something straight because I kind of like felt like I didn't position myself very authentic, authentic, whatever, you know that word, very well in the last one because people are probably like, oh yeah, like you feel bad because you donate, like you're an idiot. But let me kind of explain that at the time I had like, I think squandered away good money after like good money after bad money and the guilt was pretty high and I just felt like I don't know I just felt like I needed some way to kind of rid me of that shame and so I kind of went through a stage where I just like kept donating <laughs> and it wasn't because I'm this like amazing person with all touristic, like, believe me, like I'm not, I was doing it for selfish reasons disguised as, you know, being this amazing, good person that wants to help others. I, I was, I mean, that's the fallout of it, but I just wanted to rid myself of the guilt because I just felt like, how could I, like people, like I should be so grateful for, my opportunities in my life and then I kind of start building this this app and and it became like an addiction to me and and so then I was like okay how do I how do I get forgiveness and so I just threw myself into um giving to to charities I really cared about and volunteering a lot I mean I just was like volunteering everywhere and I'm lucky that it landed me in an area of um, teens at risk which is my passion and you know thank God that from it I did find um, peace a little bit in that and I always say to everyone like doing volunteer work <laughs> it's for selfish reasons you know you volunteer because what you get back is so much bigger than what you give. And that's really true. And if anybody goes through a, a time where they feel sad or depressed or they feel like whatever reason, sometimes just like giving back like makes a huge difference. Uh, you can see I'm sweating right now because I'm in our bathroom here who like overheats like it's a sauna most of the time. But anyway, so I just kind of wanted to not have people think that I'm like trying to disguise myself as this like enlightened person that, you know, no, that's, that's not true. And, um, and then once I started to give and do volunteer work, um, it just manifested into another addiction of um, needing to give more, needing to do more, needing to change more, um, which led me into my Shelley DeRoge podcast, which was my obsession for 12 months, literally trying to uncover what happened to Shelley, you know, um, based on the last night she was heard from and retracing her steps and getting to know her and from that, I got to see another side. Um, and from that, I became even more passionate about foster care and, and human trafficking and sex workers. And But it didn't come from a place of pure unselfishness. You know, I mean, I wish I could say it did, but I'd be lying. So anyways, that's just because I wanted to just reframe things and not have you know, people think I was like, just, I'm just so awesome. Look at me, like giving so much, I have to like hide it from my family. Like that's like, that's not really where the shame comes from. But anyways, okay, <laughs> have a good day.